Hello everyone and welcome back to another a must see chess game from the chess history from 2004. So in this chess game we have Alexander Morozovic with the white pieces, a very strong brilliant attacking chess grandmaster and his opponent is also very strong chess grandmaster Viktor Bologan. So let's see what happened in this chess game. This is a must see chess game, a notable chess game. So. Morozovic starts the game with e4, c6, and we have the Karakan defense. f3, e6, and developing the knight. Bishop to b4, bishop out, knight out. Queen to d3, b6, knight out. Bishop out, attacking the queen, defending, and both players castled, but in the opposite direction. Morozovic castled from the queen side. c5. A3 asking a question, capturing the knight, capturing back, capturing the knight, bishop takes on e2 and pushing the pawn c4. But now we see charging from the king side and black is attacking from the queen side. Queen back, developing the knight and keep moving forward. Queen to d7, g4. Pawn storm in the king side, pushing the pawn. Bishop back, relocating the bishop and black is centralizing the rook, capturing the pawn. And isn't this just simply losing a pawn after f takes on e4, knight takes on d4 and black is a pawn up. Morozovic played g5, f5 and then we have king to b1 but in this position you might ask what happens if pushing the pawn if c3 then checking the king Black has check. After defending the king, king to b1, defending the queen, queen to c6, and black is much better. Black is doing okay, and also this knight is looking pretty nice. Uh, knight on b3 is looking solid, and dislodging this knight is almost impossible. So, we can say that black is doing very well. So this is why in this position we have king to b1 and now if pushing the pawn there is no check. So queen to c6 unpinning the knight. h6 by Morozevich. Keep moving forward. f takes on e4 and queen to c3. Well in this position uh, moving the knight would be a fatal mistake if moving the knight to let's say e2 then queen takes on g7 is going to be checkmate, so Morozovic is eyeing on g7. Black played e3. So maybe in this position black is attacking the bishop, and also if capturing the knight, queen can take the rook. Pushing the pawn and liberating the position, uh, what would you do in this position? Well, actually Morozovic played a brilliant move. Well, he simply captured the knight. Rook takes on d4. And after this move, queen takes on h1. That's check. After moving the king, also capturing the bishop. And black has... Well, black is basically a rook up in this position. So, is this losing for white? Did Morozovic blundered? Why did he capture the knight? And allowed queen takes on h1. Well, in this position, Morozovic captured the rook, who rook takes on d8, and in this position, he is actually threatening checkmate, so we have g takes on h6. So if capturing the rook, then black is getting checkmated. Queen takes on g7, checkmate. There is no defense. So we can see that sacrificing on h1 was a very nice idea, so in this position, White has rook takes on d8 and at the same time white is threatening checkmate. So defending is not so easy. G takes on h6 but simply capturing back and again threatening checkmate. Queen to g4 and black is defending. What would you do in this position once again if you had the white pieces? Actually this move is not defending anything. White has forced win. So can you guess the next move of Alexander Morozovic? He played a crushing move. And after that move, black resigned. So let me give you a couple of seconds. 
If you need, you can also pause the video and try to guess the next move of white. So let me give you three seconds. Okay, so in this position, Alexander Morozovich picked his queen and he placed it on G, no, H8. <laughs> what a move, what a move. And Black resigned after this knockout punch. So the possible continuation is also brilliant. If the obvious move, if capturing the queen with the king, if king takes on h8, then rook takes on f8. And where is the king going? Because of, because of this pawn pawn, there is no escape. So one of the only defense is with the queen, then checking the king with the bishop, and this is checkmate. And if blocking with the knight, then checking the king, only defense, and then capturing the queen with the bishop or even with the pawn, so this is also checkmate. Unbelievable. So after this incredible shot by Morozovich, Black resigned. And what happens if king to f7, then capturing the pawn, check, only move besides blocking with the queen, then rook takes rook, check, mate. Incredible, isn't it? So in this position, did you see queen to h8? If you did, well done. So after this move, black basically resigned. And this was the brilliant tactical shot by Alexander Morozovic. Basically, there is force checkmate and black is getting checkmated. So thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. So take care and bye bye.